and I'm a clinical hypnotherapist based in Ballina, Wales, Australia. And a lot of people ask me, what is hypnosis? What, what is hypnosis? What, what is the difference between hypnosis and a hypnotherapist? Well, hypnosis is the basis of what we use. It's, hypnosis is a state that we are able to access in our beings and a hypnotherapist uses that to create change for people through th applying therapies. So we're re ruled by ethics and um, integrity. And when you're looking for a hypnotherapist, you always want to look for uh, whether they are in an association because that their professional standards are high. And that's the important part about a hypnotherapist. And there are some people out there who are just um, absolutely fabulous, but I would just recommend that that's one guideline. So hypnosis is hypnotic, which is an altered state, uh, commonly called a trance. And what is that? That is probably the most common experience you have is daydreaming. And so it's very, very natural. And I like to explain it like this. You know, when you were learning to drive a car, it was so complex and your hands uh, and all the coordination in your mind was really struggling with uh, keeping the car safe, <clears throat> all the cars around, review mirror, changing gears, etc. And then uh, once you get it, it's uh, really automatic. So much so that many years later, you can be driving along and you can be thinking about dinner that night, an issue in your life, whatever. And it's an automatic thing that you're driving that car. You're spatially aware of what's around you, uh, changing the gears, it's all automatic. And I like to uh, compare that automatic learned uh, experience um, very, very much what the subconscious mind is about. And hypnotherapists deal with the subconscious mind. Um, through using and applying hypnosis uh, and assisting everybody in that really normal state of a daydream and actually helping you to get into one of those states of hyper-awareness rather than what most people believe, which is a uh, shutdown of your ability to even uh, feel just like to totally shut down, asleep and gone. It's different. It's hyper-aware. You become very aware of yourself in a really beautiful, safe way. And a lot of people are really impressed and quite quite surprised how it's such a lovely experience. It's a very, very safe experience with qualified uh, hypnotherapists. So hypnosis is a very, very normal state for us, but we actually push to take it that little bit further to get down into the subconscious mind. Um, and so we have um, the daydream. And we also use the imagination, which is images and action. But the images themselves can come through feelings. They can come through pictures. They can come through all sorts of things. But that imagination part of ourselves, the daydream part of ourselves, the imagination part of ourselves is such a powerful place for us to access very safely and to change our lives. And so that's what, what, what absolutely in a nutshell, what hypnosis and versus hypnotherapy is all about. And so also, <clears throat> many people talk to me and ask me the question of stage hypnosis. And, uh, like, what do I think of it? And I find it absolutely fantastic. I mean, really. Doesn't it go to show how powerful this part that I'm talking about is? That if we can be um, susceptible to quacking like a duck or flapping like a chicken and eating an onion in, and thinking that it's an apple, well, aren't we powerful and we don't even know it? And so to me, that is just a, an exquisite part of the human nature that we don't even know and we don't really tap into. So um, I find stage hypnosis amazing. And in training, uh, we, we did some amazing things. We were really, really surprised at what, what we learned and what we could do and what we could achieve with people in the sense of non-therapy, but in the sense of stage hypnosis. Um, and if we don't do that in practice, we don't do that, but it just shows you how far you can um, take it, how susceptible we as humans are to um, that time of control or, or susceptibility is the other word that we say. So quite amazing, absolutely quite amazing. Um, and so what I really like to do is to utilise this absolutely natural part of ourselves to bring really safe change to people as quickly and rapidly as possible and also so that they can reclaim their lives in such a varied, varied way. 
And I can deal with basically every issue that people have, except for a couple um, that legally we're not allowed to deal with. And that's one. Anything, you can give me a call. Uh, but message on Facebook is the best way for me. Thank you. And um, we can, we can, I can answer your questions, which would be great. Um, even pop something up on Facebook and I'll answer it for you. So I just really want to express the simple thing that hypnosis is when done well and when you do go to somebody who is in an association, they are ruled by a code of ethics and can be reported and etc. etc. So you've got something to fall back on. But genuinely we are coming from the heart and we're coming from integrity. And we have seen the, the almost miraculous power of hypnosis for many, many things. Um, and I'm going to end that now and I'll come back at another point in time and I'll want to talk to you about perhaps anxiety, stress um, and depression and how hypnosis can help you with that. Anyway, thanks so much for listening and I'm looking forward to seeing you, seeing you again. Thank you.